Okay, so this is how I have been playing Dead by Daylight on Linux. Uh, you do need a few things. So first and foremost, you need to come over to your Steam library. Make sure tools are checked. Make sure you have this. Proton Easy Anti-Cheat Runtime. You have that installed. If you don't have it, you can just do a search for it. And uh, you can install it. So... And then you're going to need an Epic Game Store version of Dead by Daylight. So, um, on Linux, I get mine through Heroic Games Launcher. Um, a couple ways you can get it. You can either get the Flat Hub, uh, Flat Pack version, or you can go to GitHub. And you can download your version. I'm using Fedora, so you just add this repo and then you install and it's installed. This uh, this was the only way I could figure out how to use Mango HUD uh, was to use the um, this one that was specific for Fedora, the RPM version. All right, so once you have Heroic installed, log into your Epic Games account, install DVD, and uh, you need to go ahead and you need to make a variable with that proton easy anti cheat runtime so you type this out uh, proton eac uh, runtime underscores in between then you need to find the file to that and that's easy you can just go here um, browse local files and it'll tell you your path right there at the top um, and this can all be done on the steam deck too you're gonna have to switch to big picture mode and uh i'm pretty sure on the deck you can actually just go into the store and just look for heroic and then boom yeah you get the flat hub version right there so once you have all that installed you have this then you need to go into your uh, Dead by Daylight folder. And uh, for me, from home, you go to Games, Heroic, Dead by Daylight, and this folder right here, Easy Andy Cheat, you wanna make copy that. And you go into Game Folder, Binaries, EGS, and then you wanna paste that right there, the Easy Andy Cheat folder. I don't know why it needs to be here, but this is how it works. So once all those conditions are met, you own a copy, Dead by Daylight, um, the Epic Game Store version. You have that variable made. Uh, another thing you can do, come down, tick the box for game mode if you want to run it, and enable Mango HUD. And again, this does not, for me, it did not work with the FlatHub version. I had to use the RPM version from GitHub. So I just go ahead and click play. Game mode is active. Oh, there it goes. The easy anti cheat load screen. And you can see we're in. And this will load all the way into a game. And if you don't have uh, that easy anti-cheat folder copied and pasted into the games folder, the actual game uh, binaries folder, then it will not get past the easy anti-cheat uh, load screen down here at the bottom. Now, on the Steam version, you can do all this, and you can get all the way up to this to this part here. Um, however, uh, you can load into a lobby, but you can't load into match. You can see up here, we're... Okay. 
We're running. So I'll just let this load and then uh, run around a little bit, end it there. Okay, and you can see we loaded in. It might stutter for a little bit at the beginning of each match, but... Aside from that... Those were... Oh my god. Sorry, teammate. Kind of a shit thing to do. Uh, another thing, so if you don't have the Epic Games Store version of the game, you're, you're gonna have to buy it to get this to work. There's just no way around that until they fix it for Steam. Um, and uh, you don't have to start all over. You can go to, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go to behaviors website and you can merge your epic and your steam account so cross progression is not working for uh steam stadia and epic and uh yeah that's it and, and again all this can be done on steam deck you just have to do it through uh you can't do it through uh the, the games mode you have to go into desktop mode to get this to work but yeah if anybody has any questions just uh just leave them down below and I'll uh, answer any that I can.